Hey, what's going on, everybody? So uh, today I want to show you how to uh, start creating your own custom theme of videos. We're going to use Epic for example. As I mentioned in the video on setting up Epic, we are going to create that today. So if you ever wanted to learn and make your own game theme videos, I want to walk you through the steps. It's very simple. It's easy, but it does require just a little bit of patience. This is going to be a two-part video, so this part I'm just going to show you what I call a static video. We'll just get our images up, we'll get a gameplay video going on, and that'll get you up and running. In part two, I'll show you how to create animations for that video, so we'll just carry that same video over into the next one. And you can use the same method for just whatever game you want. I'll show you the elements that you need, so basically just change the elements to match the game you're doing, and... That is it. Let's go ahead and get started. The uh, program that I use is DaVinci Resolve. Here is the website. It's blackmagicdesign.com forward slash products forward slash DaVinci Resolve Studio. And you want to download the uh, free version. Um, I haven't updated mine in a while, so just download it, run it, and that's it. Now, I'm not going to do a complete breakdown of everything that... You need to do with resolve i'm just going to show you what we need to do to get this job done and then you can just play around with the program uh, later on okay and the uh, next program that i use i use this religiously is remove.bg and all you do is we'll just take a picture throw it in here and we'll create a clear logo now this is going to be useful because we're going to use this to create a frame um, all the media that I'm using, you can just download it right from the description. There'll be a zip file, and it's called Epic Static Game Theme Video. And um, that's how I created this. So this right here is our, um, this is just a frame that I found online. As you can tell, it's not a clear logo yet. So how this works, and you can use this for any frame online. Just type in uh, frame.png. Just slap it in here. It's going to do its thing, and now we have a clear logo, and then you can just download it and use it. But I already have this one in here, so if you want a different clear logo, that's all you have to do. And this is a very useful tool, and it's free. Most programs, you have to pay to do this. This is just a website. Pop it up, and you're good to go. Okay, you'll have your DaVinci Resolve downloaded, so all you'll do is just click it open. All right, and we're going to create a new project, so just double click on untitled uh, down here we have all these buttons um, don't let that scare you the one you want is going to say uh, edit okay now if you uh, come up in your edit it's going to be these right here and you have these two boxes one changes to single mode so just right up here, you'll see this little box, and it's going to say single viewer mode. Just click on that. Now, that's going to be useful for more advanced features, but we're not doing anything advanced. So we're just going to just drop this and get this done. Okay, and you're going to um, download the zip file that I have in the description. It's going to be Epic Static Game Theme Video. Double click on that. You'll see its folder populate. Pull that up, and just drag and drop all these files into your DaVinci over here. And they should automatically pop up here in the uh, Masters tab. Okay, let's try that again, but this time let's unzip these. So just pull them out anywhere. Now let's put them right here. All right, now open your DaVinci. Go to File, you'll Import, Import Media. And I'll just go to my desktop. Alright, and here is all the images, so you can just control and click. Alright, so we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the uh, Epic logo open. And now we should have all these files here. That'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 files. Okay, so we'll start with our background first. So it's going to be the front box art. And just drag it and drop it. 
and we're going to extend this out. Now I like to do mine for 30 seconds at a time. So you could do yours longer or shorter. About about 30 to is fine. And now we're just going to start stacking everything on top of this. Uh, drag this red bar out just a little bit so you can see that. So we have our epic. Now, I want to take this clear logo out because it'll make that a little bit clearer. And plus in the uh, later video, I'll show you how to animate that. So I'm just going to drop this here. Drag it out to match this. Oh, and be sure to hit your inspector. We are going to use the crap out of inspector. And then we can just drag this back here. If it'll let you, it won't let me, but if it'll let you, go ahead. I'm doing this on a lower resolution, just so it can make it easier for you all to see what's going on. But yours will actually look much cleaner than mine does. And your inspector might actually already be on for some of you, so if it is, that's fine as well. Anyways, we're going to move this around with your position, so X is going to be your left or right. This is going to be your up to down. And we're just going to move this over the epic. It's already there. And then we can just use this to change its size. See, that looks good there. All right, now we're a little bit brighter, and we can also use this color logo in the next video to animate it. All right, next, we're going to add in our frame. We're going to add in our video next. So it's going to say game theme video, which is just a screenshot. And we're just going to move this on top of this. Now you're going to see the video. It's going to say video three, so that's where you want this at. And this is going to take up the whole screen, so we're just going to make this smaller. And yeah, probably about, probably about like that. Then we want to move it around. Make it center to the screen. Alright, that, no, that looks better. Okay, now we're going to drop our frame on top of that. So grab your frame, move it up, and then it should say video 4. And of course, extend this out. Right, and right now, don't worry about this not matching the Epic logo behind the border. We're going to come back and we're going to clean all that up. But for now, let's worry about making uh, this fit the border. So you'll want to click on your game thing video. You want to make sure it's highlighted. Because if it's not, then you're going to be changing something else. Reposition this, put it about to the center. All right, now here you have this link. Unclick that there. And now we could um, actually stretch this out left to right and up and down. So that looks, that looks good right there to me. Stretch this out just a little bit higher. All right, so now we got this fit, and let's go ahead and play this. So right now, everything looks good. It's right there. And let's go ahead and move that clear logo up some. Okay, be sure to stop your video as well, and move this all the way down to the logo. Now, all you have to do is right-click somewhere where it says Video 2, and move track up. See, now it's over to Video. Now, I want that over to Border as well. All right, now you got the epic right there. Okay, and we are already almost done. Let's go ahead and add in our character. And he's going to be way up here. May need to adjust this. All right, so let's try to place him. It should say track five where we place him at. There we go. Okay, you go ahead and click that and extend it out. All right, now this right here is our video, so let's go ahead and shorten our video. We don't need it to be that long. All right, 
And you'll see where all these lines come out, so it shows you're right at the angle that you need to be at. Yeah, so that video is still too long. Let's go ahead. No, I see a frame. So let's shorten the frame up. All right, and then you'll see where all those little arrows, all those other tracks appear. So that shows that you're in line with the rest of them. All right, everything looks good. Okay, now go to your track five and click on your guy here. And we're going to flip him around because I want to put him on the other side. All right, and I want to reposition him. X goes left to right. Y is going to bring him down. All right, and that looks good to me. And we're going to do one more thing, and that's going to be it. We're going to add our Steam logo. I always like to add the uh, logo of whatever system this is going to be for. And we can also animate that. So we're going to do some animations in the next video. All right, so that looks good there. Now we're going to drag this all the way out. Okay, so we have our scene logo up and it's we don't want it that big, so we'll go ahead and shrink it. So just click on your oh, zoom. All right, now so let's bring it in some. About right there looks good. And now we're going to position it up. You can put it in whatever corner you want to put it at. I'll just put mine in the upper left. A little bit bigger still. About 221, it looks good. Now your numbers may look different than mine just because of the resolution I'm going. All right, and that is it. Let's go ahead and come back and play this now. And I'll show you how to save and export this as well. All right, so we got that going on. We got the uh, gameplay playing. Now if I had my sound on, you can hear the uh, bullets going. I try to keep it down because it just tends to get kind of loud. All right. Well, everyone, I hope that helped you out. And even if you don't want to make this on your own, I have this completed theme video down in the description. So you can just take it and add it to your build. Uh, anyways, check out the next video and I'll show you how to do some pretty cool animations to really make this stand out. All right. I'll see. check you all out later and you have a great day. I'm sorry, I forgot to show you how to export this. <laughs> Getting the two ahead of myself. Okay, so after you're done and you're happy with this, you're going to come up to your DaVinci result. You're going to go to File, and you can just come down to a quick export. And it really doesn't matter which one you pick. I normally just pick the um, 264 Master. Click on Export. Uh, name it whatever you want. I want to name this epic static just so i know what this is the unanimated one but again you can name whatever you want uh hit save and then it's going to take a, a few seconds for it to upload okay whenever you're done it's completed it's not going to auto close so you have to manually close it yourself now just go wherever you uh, saved your file at I don't have a specific location, so I think mine just automatically saves in my uh, TKSSI folder. Here it is, and then you can just click on it and give it a whirl. All right, and here it go, and there it is. And for most people, I mean, that right there is going to be good enough. It's a good, cool animation, much better than just a regular screenshot. Um, uh, but again, I will have this in the description for people who just don't want to build this and just want this theme. And in the next video, we're going to go over on how to do some pretty cool animations to this to make this really pop out. Okay, now again, y'all have a great day and I'll catch you next time.